Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm Jessica, and I'm the marketing director of Twist and Shout Media. We have um, created awareness campaigns using videos, um, ambient media, and the power of comedy. So I want to talk to you about doing something different in your training. So when I think about the kind of training I received before I came into the security industry, this is going back about five years ago now, I thought about what kind of, how did that make me feel? What did I do? And one particular memory really sticks out to me. I was working at Volvo and Alfa Romeo. It was two days before the end of the month. Very busy time. All I'm thinking about, I need to hit my target. I don't need to think about anything else but hitting mine and my team's target. I get that dreaded phone call from a management saying, you've got to do your training. Why have you not done it? Try and argue it out. Can I just give me a couple of more days? I'll do it then. It's too late. You've got to do it now. So I'm forced into doing this annual training that comes around once a year. Sitting there, it's boring. Straight away, I don't want to be doing this right now. I'm looking at all this information, I'm skimming through it. I'm not actually engaged with what I'm reading. I'm guessing a lot of the questions. I'm thinking about, does this really make me engaged? Am I remembering any of these points? No, not really. I don't remember anything that I took away from that training back then. So when I started thinking about what are people doing out there to get a message that nobody really wants to listen to? What are people doing to help get that message across? So I came across this. Oh. Shortly, we'll be winging our way to your next port of call. But before we lift off, we'd like to give you what we call the bare essentials of safety aboard this flight. Even if you fly with us quite a lot, we'd appreciate it if you'd take a second look. All baggage should be tucked away overhead. Or under the seat in front of you. We require all passengers to follow crew member instructions and lighted signs. If we happen to switch on the seatbelt sign, please return to your seat and fasten your seatbelt. Not so tight as to lose the feeling in your legs, but enough to ensure that it's snug and fits low across your hips. We recommend you keep your seatbelt fastened throughout the flight. But if you do need to get up, undo the seatbelt by lifting the flap. If an auction mask does drop down in front of you, don't stop to ask why. Or if you could have one in another colour. Simply pull down on the mask, place over your nose and mouth, and tighten by pulling on both sides of the elastic. Now, did you all see what was going on there? They were all completely naked. So, I remember the first time seeing this video. You're looking, you're looking again. Yeah, they're naked. I'm engaged. What's going on? What are they trying to say? But you're getting the message as well because you're engaging in it. It's something different. Now, the person behind this was a lady called Jodie Williams. She was the person that launched this big campaign. Now, Air New Zealand were the people that created it. It was called um, Bare Essentials to Safety. That got seven million views in 2009 for a safety video. Bear in mind, New Zealand alone only has under five million in population. It proves this went at global. People went out there looking for something, found something different. So it wasn't just watching it on a plane. It got people engaged. I love this quote that she talks about because it wasn't just about having a video. It was about marketing a campaign, doing something different. You know, in your teams, you're probably working with internal comms, communications, people that are helping run out your campaigns internally. They're the people you want on your side. They're the people that already are doing communications all the time. So if you're running training, make friends with these people. They're going to help your training more engaging. So when I think about marketing, I think, why do we do marketing? Why is it important? Well, it's about changing behavior. It's about stopping and getting people's attention. It's about trying to do something different to get the same message across. 
So when I look at this particular picture, you've probably seen many of these pictures, the recycling pictures. They all have changed behavior over time. You know, now if you, you've got a plastic bottle and you're thinking, I need to go put that in a bin. You go to put that in the general waste, somebody probably will stop you and say, oh, recycling is just there. Because people have made a choice. You want to be part of that culture. And it's the same thing with you guys in your training. You're trying to get people to make the right choice, but it's how you're making that right choice. So again, when you're asking your employees to do something different, for them, you're asking them to come away from their day-to-day -day job, the thing that they're paid to do, the thing to them that's the most important thing. You're asking them to do something different. They don't see the point, they don't see the relevance. They don't know why any of this matters to them. Why security? That's not my job. That's what IT's there for. I hear that all the time. I was one of those naive people that used to say that. But going back to my story, it's because of the kind of training I used to receive. I didn't understand it. It made no sense to me. So when you're think, thinking about relevance, how can we make security relevant to your employees? What do they really care about? Well, they're thinking about finances, family. So when you're thinking about their family, if you're thinking about keeping their family safe, they're more likely to lean in. So if you're doing training and things that they can carry on at home, for example, if you're trying to find information at home, what are you all doing? What are your family members doing? They're looking on YouTube, most likely. They're not reading a manual of loads of information. They're doing it in a very different way. If you're teaching them about how to keep their children safe on social media, the likelihood is they'll lean into that training, but then they also might lean into the other stuff that you're trying to teach them about keeping the company safe. It's trying to make that relevance connection as well. So they don't just see it as it's just a work thing. Now, when we talk about lots of information, you can see that you're skimming through it now, just trying to get that information. You're taking all of that information in. Studies show that you only actually take in 20% of what you read. What about now? If you're remembering key points, you're not remembering all of that. But what if I told you if you put a visual in front of somebody, same information, but a visual way? The likely it is you're going to remember it because you're remembering 90% of visual stuff. So looking at that image, taking 10% away from it, you can still work out what that image is. Rather than re reading the content that you've previously seen, that's a simpler way of seeing it. Like your brain will just work it out. If you was trying to think of a word and some of the words were built up in the middle, your brain would automatically try and work out what that word is rather than lots of information being shown to you. So for me, we ran campaigns with lots of different organizations. And this is some of the feedback. If it's done well and they lean into the marketing, we had companies doing things with large character cutouts. They put posters around the place. They showed videos. Fair enough, they used humor, but they did something different. And when they did this, this is the kind of feedback that our security team got from their employees. They're talking about fun, engagement. People have learned something. That's what we're here to do. As security people, you're there to teach them these things. You're the experts, but make it fun. I know that's hard to say in security, but try and make it fun. Make it relatable to them. So three things to take away from today. I want you to be brave. Try something different. Don't give them a manual to read and expect them to remember everything or to care. Make friends with your internal comms. They already market to your team already. You want them on side. They will help you. If you go and speak to them early, they will help you get that marketing campaign going. And finally, just make it relatable. Think of different ways that you can help them make it relatable. And finally, if you look at these two images, you're seeing what would you prefer to do? If you're explaining something to somebody in your home life, a friend, a family, and you were telling them something about security, how would you do that? 
Would you give them a document with lots of information on? Or would you give them a visual or maybe a video? I know which one I'd choose. Thank you. Any questions?